It's so easy to be great because most of the world is weak. If you are even remotely a savage, you will run these people over. It's all out there for the taking right now. One of the hardest things that a person can experience is giving every ounce of themselves. Blood, sweat, tears, hours and hours of practice, dedication to perfecting the craft and improving and not seeing the result. And going to sleep knowing that they're going to have to wake up the next day and go at it just as hard. Take the pain and make it part of your medicine. We all experience pain. We all experience suffering. Many of us have experienced trauma of one type or another. And that can consume you. I mean, it can consume you. But it's like fire, right? It can consume you, but you can also harness it and use it for different things. That pain that you have, the things that you're experiencing, is a plan, it is a blueprint for greatness. You've got to stop hiding that pain. You've got to stop holding on to it. Turn it around and use it for fuel to do something, to get somewhere, to become someone. Because the moment you come off of mute and you begin to open up your mouth and share your story, you will find that there's a path to glory for it. You may not understand it today, but one day you'll look back over your life and realize the greatest novel being written are the words that you commit to the world. You can be the person who's committed. You can be the person who says, this is going to fucking work no matter what happens, no matter how frustrated I get, no matter how angry I get, no matter what, I'm fucking doing this. Those are the people that are gonna win. Heroes and villains always have the same backstory, pain. The difference is what they choose to do about it. Villain says, the world hurt me, I'll hurt it back. The hero says, the world hurt me, I'm not gonna let it hurt anybody else. Heroes use pain, villains are used by it. Life. Life. Embrace the journey and the process of life. You only get stronger hiking by going uphill. Nobody gets stronger hiking by just going downhill. Is it worth it? Is the fight worth showing up to? But ladies and gentlemen, if this truly is something that you want, going at it every single day should be worth the fight. It should be the long late nights. It should be the early mornings going through it even when you're tired, saying no to the things that tempt you, the sweet immediate gratification, just to get a little bit closer to that goal. When someone closes a door in your face, all you have to remember is when God allows them to close the door in your face, all God wants you to do is walk up the hall it's some more doughs. Hey, stop. The door is closed for a reason. Because God just wants you to walk up the hall because he got another door. It's bigger, and when you open it and get behind it, you ain't going to believe what's back there. But you will never get to it if you stand in front of that door crying. But you have to accept the fact that you can set yourself a goal that you can attain, and there's not going to be much glory in it to begin with. Because if you're not in very good shape, the goal that you could attain, could attain tomorrow isn't very glorious. But it, it's a hell of a lot better than nothing and it beats the hell out of bitterness and it's way better than blaming someone else. It's way less dangerous and you could do it. Confidence comes from this because the disease of lack of confidence is you're obsessed with everybody else thinks about you. What are they gonna think? What are they gonna think? What are they gonna think? That's the, that's the symptom. The disease is you're worried about your reputation with everybody else because you don't have a good one with you. If your past self could see where you're at today, 
Think of how impressed they would be. One of the greatest ways you can overcome self-doubt is to realize how far you've come. Maybe you're not exactly where you want to be, but you're a lot better than where you were. And the key is to wake up every single day, put one foot in front of the other, keep moving and keep growing. If your reputation with self is exemplary, you're not concerned about your reputation with others. So self-confidence comes from one simple thing. It comes from keeping the promises you make to yourself. That's it. If you begin to consistently keep the promises you make to you, you will begin to stack upon that self-confidence. You can do what you put your mind to. And if you continue to put your mind to it, the game opens up new levels. And each new level that gets opened up, you're able to adapt a different mindset and a different approach. You can stop at that level, or you can go, I want more levels. I want more fucking levels. Stop complaining about the results you didn't get from the work you didn't put in. The only way to become more successful than most people is to be willing to do something most people aren't willing to do. Greatness is something that you have merited, but you have to merit it by going to battle. Every day is a battlefield of the mind. What you have to experience, what you have to endure to get through the school of hard knocks, to get a degree that will turn up the temperature in life for you and heat up the atmosphere and become the place that others find warmth in a cold world. You are going through something because you have to become something. Welcome it, embrace it. Sometimes when you're in a dark place, you think you've been buried, but actually, you've been planted. But you have to be willing to stick to this path. Commit to this journey. You have it within you, you do. And when you get to the end of it, you'll understand why.